trouble. No, I'm not in trouble. You're, you're, in, you're in trouble. No, I'm not I'll in trouble. I'll set Sebastian you, on you. You are so cruel right. to me. Oh, dear. I'm just going to put you in the mood. When did you first appear on New Faces? On New Faces? Yes. Yeah. Um, but I'm an old face now. Yeah, no. you were eight years old. Yeah. Have a look at this. Eight years old. This is Melanda Burrows. <laughs> Melanda on New Faces. And we've also got her first appearance on Emma Dale in a little while. There she is. Oh, she's sweet. Top of the pops. Yeah. First oh, appearance. <laughs> then, oh, the wedding. However, now she is doing, she's doing a live television show for America. We sent her along to a Tudor house to really get into the whole spirit of the thing, but we gave her no rehearsals at all. It and was, so, you tell me it was live. Yeah, Thanks. pitched in live. Please say hi, or should I say good morning, Your Majesty, to the bubbly Melandra Burroughs. <laughs> yes, thank you, Chester. I am here in the heart of historic England. Only five minutes down the road is Windsor Castle, one of the magnificent homes of Her Majesty the Queen. And do you often see them around, uh, around the neighbourhood? Oh, of course. What, in local supermarkets? Yes, of, of course, course we do. <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling your leg. They don't do things like that, do they? Well, they're real folks like everybody else, aren't um, they? Of course they are. Of well, course they are. But first, up next, is dieting dangerous. We'll be right back after this short break. Oh, across behind the screen. Yes. Smart camera, lovely. Fab. Well done. I, have I never loved done your responses. Anything like this in my life. Oh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> well. The next bit is that we didn't have a camera in your changing area, but we do eavesdrop on the conversation because she's very unimpressed and she knows nothing about real tennis. Let's go to the changing room. It wasn't fair. I just think it's a bit ridiculous. Can we get someone up? Can we get the director up? This? It just seems, it just seems crazy. Look at It's ridiculous. I'm not going to feel right. I just feel absolutely stupid. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, Natalie? I feel like... Melandra? Yes, I'm coming. What we're going to do... <laughs> yeah, I told you they'd laugh. Then we'll remember it's a knockout. And when you finish, <laughs> back away, and I'm going to... I back away. And, and, down, and you go behind your screen again. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't mention, there's a little tennis machine here with balls, so when you've done the tennis bit, a few balls might come over and just give a few little lobs. OK? Right, let's go for rehearsal, please. You okay. can't sing Francis, thank you. <laughs> I just can't do this. <laughs> and welcome back to USA Live. Well, Melandra, I must say you look absolutely you wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Wimbledon just over. Where better to start than here at the tennis court? But as you can see, this isn't the sort of court where you'd find Pete Sampras. No, this is a real tennis court for real tennis players like Henry VIII. Well, Melandra, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the rules of real tennis. The rules? The rules of real tennis? <laughs> oh, we have... Yes, go with it, go with it, go with it. Yes. And, you know, a small racket. Go and I don't really know how they sort of hit the balls, you know, but... Um... And who's that you've got with you, Melandra? Well, this is the owner of the house. We're very privileged to have well, him around. Tell something about the real tennis. Yes, please tell us something about the real well, tennis. Well, please do. There are a lot heavier balls, of course. The net was actually a lot higher. Yes, and you, you hold the racket halfway down like this and then just wallop the old ball, you know. A bit of an expert. We don't need Pete Sampras, do we? <laughs> We're going to... Oh! Ah, you see? Oh, well done, well Look done. Well done. How's, that? That. How's that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> oh! That's just wonderful. That's without even looking. <laughs> Now, you'd think she'd suss it at the point when, you know, real tennis, it's played indoors, you know, but wouldn't you suss it when somebody mentioned Custer's last hat stand? We're going to the bedchamber. <laughs> Could I just have a word to everybody, please? On the tennis court particularly, the discipline on the floor was very, very bad. We've got a lot to get through. We're going live, in case people didn't realise this. No, you're fat. <laughs> no, the, you, you are the one person... Melandra, this is not directed at. Mm -hmm. you, will, you will say... Um, um, this room is literally just in history, and here's talk about a few items on display. Is our antiques expert, uh, David Kirsch. Is. 
David, David. Oh, hi, David. I'm sorry. That's it. Now, this is David. Excuse me, sorry. Can I just... This is Tara, our American art expert. Yes, Tara. I've got a couple of pieces from a private collection that I borrowed. I'd like to show you this piece, okay? Because it's Custer's. You know Custer? Custer's hat stand, okay? So what I want you to do, if you can just get in about Custer born, died, you know, the usual stuff, right? So I just think it'd be nicer if David did all this as a... I think they rather wanted it in the three sections, that David talks to you about the English thing, and then actually you're making a dialogue. Yeah, well, can, can we combine this? Well, I mean, in all honesty, it's a bit late to be... But all, the, you have um... to do, no, look, all you have to do is say, this is Custer's oh, hat. Excuse me, okay. sorry. Right. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Cool. This, is, this is Custer's It's over. It's super smooth in England. Melandra, where are you now, darling? Chester, I have found my four-poster bed. This is where the master of the house would have slept, possibly after a long, hard day's battling. Oh, isn't she lovely? Oh, <laughs> you haven't introduced oh. me. Oh, please well. introduce us, please. <laughs> well, she's gorgeous. Mel Melandra, this is, this is our peanut butter designer here, Barry Wozniak. Oh, hello there. How are you? Hello, Melandra. I'm glad You're you didn't gorgeous. see me as Henry VIII. <laughs> That's that, for now, sure. About that bed, Melandra. About this bed. Well, we have a, a lot of antiques in this room. We also have in here our resident expert, David Kirshen. He's going to tell us a little more about them. Hello, David. How are Hello, you? Hello. Fine, thank you. Really? Right, Melandra, we're, we're running a little short of time over here. What else might you be able to show us from that beautiful room? Well, we have here something that might interest you in particular. Custer's hat stand. But uh, after he passed away, his wife, his wife died, lived on 52 years. Very lovely, lovely romantic story. She polished it every day after that. Absolutely wonderful. Hmm. Their office, thank you. That's thank it. you. Oh! Oh! oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, please, oh, David. What did you do? Did you have started? Mm. Sorry. No, I think, um, <laughs> Natalie, can we have Mer Ooh. Melanda change yeah. for the next Change! Time? Well, clearly she's not, got, not getting on with Tara at all, and Tara's about to appear with Abraham Lincoln's hat, apparently. And you're going to see a woman use her bare hands to attack a man in a suit of armour? Hey? I don't want the hat touched, okay, after what happened. All right, time. okay, all right, right, all right. So what I'm going to say is it's Abraham Lincoln's hat, okay? You know, he's the 16th president of the United States, and all I want to say is that is actually the hat he wore when he was assassinated, okay? But all if right. you can please say that about it. Oh, I'm not doing that. Not in the script. No. It's not right. in the script, well, sorry. No, well, we might, sorry. I mean, the hat... It's not in the script. The hat can... You want to see how back in very old England. I believe Melandra has a, a special hat to put on. Oh, a very special hat. David, can you well, pass this over? Well, perhaps we can take a look at that right now. Um, well, th this hat was owned by Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of the United States. Yes. And anyway, we're running out of time here, so why don't we take a look at some of those beautiful suits of armor? Can you tell us? Perhaps you could show us how that, how that helmet and all, all that, that visor and stuff works on that. Hopefully, if it hasn't become rusted over time or, or anything, um, if we have to lift the headpiece first. And... We're back. We're back at the usual time at seven o'clock next week. But that was a gotcha from the land of Burroughs. Well done. No? Good night from the house party. Let's go. You must go. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.